Hey guys, this is Bankai reporting live from the Nexus and today we're talking, well, interestingly enough guys, we're talking John Sally, the NBA player. He recently sat down on DJ Vlad's couch to blame video games for some males becoming losers at life. That was essentially what he was saying. Now, I'm an avid gamer, but I won't be biased in this video. Let's try and reason out how this non-gamer could come to this conclusion. I mean, I'm assuming the guy doesn't play video games at all, so it's a wonder how he got these statistics or gathered enough anecdotal evidence to arrive at a conclusion and make such a bold and generalized claim. But in any case, we can try and see if there is enough there for him to actually have a point. I mean, I'll be using my own real life scenarios and how I perceive his claim, you know, based on this. And then I'll break down why I don't appreciate most of the criticisms that folks have about gaming culture. By the way, remember to like and share this video. And while you're at it, you should definitely hit subscribe. Commit to the Nexus for the most unpopular opinions on pop culture. I also do PvP commentary and other cool gaming sh So without further ado, let's get started. I've mentioned before on this channel that I took a five year hiatus, or more than five years, hiatus from gaming, which is why I play so many old video games on this channel. Basically, I missed the hype train on a bunch of these games, guys. And when I saw John Sally's video, I thought maybe, you know, maybe I should talk about this. You see, I can't quite remember what was happening in my life at the time when I took that break from gaming. I mostly remember, you know, general things. Like, for one, I wasn't really happy with the work I was doing, and I was going through a lot as a result. And then one day as I was playing Dark Souls 2, going through the walls with its horrible PvP, I ended up shutting off my PS3 incorrectly in a rage, guys. I was so pissed. But anyway, I took it as a sign instead of, you know, and instead of purchasing another PS3, I decided I would fix the issues I was having would work and I would secure something better and push myself forward, you know. And then once I was comfortable with certain things, then I would get back into gaming. You know, now I mentioned that situation of the console breaking and my revelation to say that perhaps if the console hadn't died, I would still be comfortable in that cycle, being unhappy with work and my craft and playing my video games and trying to escape everything that was bothering me. I suppose what John Sally said in his video in some ways can be true, you know. Video games can be distractions that keep young men. I believe this affects men more than women. I mean, somebody feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. But it can distract young men from realizing their full potential. At the same time, uh, you know, in his video, he said video games create 40-year-old uh, virgins, I believe it was, uh, who live in their mother's basements or something like this. Um, well, at the time, I wasn't 40 years old. I was much younger than that. Still, st I'm still much younger than that. And I wasn't a virgin, uh, believe it or not. And... You know, I wasn't depending on someone for everything in my life. So his generalization was a bit out there, you know. So we're basically narrowing this down and saying, you know, what the video games can keep you from your full potential. You know, we're trying to help his, his argument a bit and, you know, to make it a bit more realistic so we can actually have a debate that makes sense because his... His actual claim was just, it's just bananas, guys. It doesn't, you know, uh, it's a bit out there. I think John Sally believes the proverbial gamer who is an overweight, freckled redhead playing video games in his mother's basement is more than a myth, even today in 2020. Uh, I don't believe in that myth, although I'm sure there are still absolute weirdos who play video games. I mean, we bump into them online every day, right? Anyway, after taking my break from gaming and addressing those issues head on, it took a while, but I started to get some clarity. You know, I ended up experiencing uh, things that really helped me to figure out my place in the world. I'm still far from, you know, having everything figured out. But to my point, you know, I lean more to the belief that I could have done all of this without taking a break from gaming. You know, and I was fully capable of doing that. Um, I simply chose to return to gaming and to be more focused on my, you know, my passion for gaming once I was more comfortable uh, within certain aspects of my life. And, you know, I had full control over these actions and these uh, decisions, which is why I was the one who chose to do it in the first place. Ironically enough, while on my break, I started to feel like something was missing again, you know. Soon I had to confront the fact that gaming is a big part of who I am, and it's one of those things that I love to share with others, which is why I even started this channel to begin with. And so I had to revive that part of my life in order to get even closer to self-actualization. And for the record, there are tons of 
crooks and lazy bastards in this world who are still depending on their parents and others and they would have never held a controller in their lives. I mean, people are losers because they're losers. This is, you know, what John Sally said is like saying people are dying because guns exist or, or people are getting shot because guns exist. It's like, no, people are getting shot because people are shooting them. You know, as, as someone who was once heavily into sports, you know, uh, well, at least as a kid, I thought I would be an athlete. Then I discovered uh, writing and I just became lazy and just started writing all the time. But that's a whole other story. I'm not sure why people can't appreciate the art of gaming even to this day. I mean, there are legitimate games out there that require a decent IQ and great reflexes. These games offer incredible mental exercise and provide healthy gratification. You know, there have been releases over the past few decades that demand recognition, admiration and praise for bringing us phenomenal literature and entertainment through the medium of gaming. But, you know, I suppose as progressive as we are right now in society, we still aren't quite there yet. Anyway, that's enough from me. What do you guys think? Do you think uh, video games create 40-year-old virgins who live with their mothers and have no drive to achieve anything in life? Or do you agree with me that people are losers because they're losers and this has nothing to do with video games per se? Be sure to share your thoughts below. By the way, remember to like this video and give it a share and definitely hit subscribe unless of course you're a waste man that's right guys i don't make videos for waste man until next time bang